no capacity loss. Third day in a row, no capacity loss. Has it stabilized? Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode. Unplugged TV, sunny, hot, not so hot, Australia. 25 is all right for the morning. And we're starting with a 66, make me a liar, 65 kilometers on the gasometer, 65 kilometers. What else would you want from a Tuesday morning? Is it Tuesday? So we arrived at work with 36 kilometers now. <laughs> That's the record. 36 kilometers and almost 77%. <coughs> 77%. Oh, there was a diesel. A diesel car in front of me. What a disgusting engine this is. Well, anyway, we'll leave the car here for a couple of hours, measure again in the lunch break and see if we have gained another two ampere hours and made it back to 39 kilometers or so. So I say 1.6 ampere hours plus. I'm not looking at the dashboard, there's no kilometers on there. Ah, 1.4. I was close, I was close. But again, and oh, oh, we lost another 0 0.1 amp hour as expected. Two days in a row, nothing. And now again, 0 0.1 amp hour. Um, I'll, I need to talk about the battery degradation with you. And I want to show you the PHEV Watchdog website. And want to show you what the actual degradation looks like. So this is the fifth degradation since I picked up the car and I have driven 320, 330 kilometers. 330 kilometers and one week and five degradations. <laughs> I thought I'm uh, appropriate when I wear a Tesla t-shirt when I talk about battery degradation. Now actually it's a little bit cold outside so 25. <laughs> okay guys I would like to show you something on the interweb. On the phevwatchdog.net website you can log in as a demo user or if you have donated to Daniel please do so. You get your own login details and you can see your own battery data. And I'm gonna show you something. So all these dots are reported state of health changes and battery statuses of all the vehicles. And the light green dots on the screen, there are my battery. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you all have seen video number, episode number, uh, 57 or 67 I can't remember 57 I think it was where I was talking about the battery conditions five months after they have done the reset so um, if you don't if you haven't seen this video yet I'll give you a very quick rundown what happened to my car so basically the first green dots we see over here in this little area this is when I first got the dog and uh, end of 2017 and I realized very quickly that the state of health of the battery is not what Mitsubishi promised so I contacted my dealer and said look this is not right and I gave them actually three or four pages of printouts of the PHEV watchdog and all the statistics and all this also the statement of the Mitsubishi website and said look this is not as promised please do something and they did they had the car for three nights, four days, and the car ended up coming back with a 100% state of health battery. And I was just, <gasps> oh God, oh God, the car has a new battery. It's a new battery. And guys, you, the car drove like with a new battery. It was amazing. 50 kilometers plus was no problem at all here on the highway. Well, quickly I realized the state of health dropped almost every day, very quickly. 
until two weeks ago, until we reached the bottom of this line at 26.8 ampere hours, which was 70.1% um, 70 or something, state of health. This was within 19,000 kilometers driven in this time span and 14, 12, 14 months later. So 14 months, 19,000 kilometers, the battery was down to 70% state of health from 100. Remember, it was still the old battery. They just did a reset on the battery management system and the software thought it is a new battery I start from 100% okay so and of course we got in contact with Mitsubishi Australia here and you know the whole story of the last probably 50 videos or something and we got the agreement or the commitment now from Mitsubishi to replace the battery under warranty under a goodwill statement it's not quite the same but we don't want to talk about this tonight. So they replaced the battery last week. And I picked up the car last week, Wednesday. This is exactly one nine, nine days ago. And I picked up the battery with 36.5 ampere hours, which was 96.1% uh, state of health. So not quite 100. Even they did a reset on the battery management system again for some reason it didn't went up to 100% anymore which is really strange anyway nine days later I am down to 36 ampere hours so I lost already half an ampere hour in five steps and I would like to zoom in a little bit in this area here and show you these two patterns I can't zoom in more so on the left hand side this is the pattern the battery management system went after the reset still with the same battery as before and this is the same pattern with a new battery after a reset so as you can see the the fall the decline of state of health is almost the same so nothing in the car has changed apart from the battery itself I'll leave this with you for a moment. And I can tell you right now, this is not the only car where this exact same thing happened. We've seen this quite a few times. So with the old battery and after the reset, we all thought, okay, the battery starts always at 100% state of health because the, manager, the software thinks it's a new battery, which makes sense. You reset the software, you erase all the data, it doesn't know anything about the old battery anymore, it thinks it's newer. So starting at 100%. And then we thought, okay, it's declining fast because the battery is not at 100% anymore and the software realizes that and learns what the true state of health of the battery is. So it adapts to the original or to the to the real state of health of the battery. But as you can see, after the reset, it was just going down, down, down. There was no stable area ever, no stabilization. Probably at the end a little bit, it, it flattens a little bit out, but you can see these big jumps, these big gaps. This is half an ampere hour lost all the time. So it never never stabilized to any certain point. It just went down, down, down on a fairly constant decline. And my guess is now it will do the same with a new battery. Of course, this is just a guess because nobody else has monitored and published such figures after a battery replacement. So I will keep a close view on this battery and I will of course publish all this information on my YouTube channel here. What is going on with the battery and with the software. 
But from what I can see here, this is clearly not a hardware problem. This looks very much like software. Because the hardware has changed. We've got a brand new battery. And even now, the, the software starts at 96% instead of 100. So why is that? Why is it not starting at 100 if the battery is new? So, this can only mean two things. Firstly, the battery they put in my car is not new. And the software declines because the state of health of the battery is not at 96% but far further down already. Or secondly, it is a pure software problem and there was nothing wrong with the old battery they have just replaced last week. And this is probably what I think because I have seen this pattern on other cars as well. So I mentioned, I mentioned this before in one of my videos recently. I personally think the battery they have replaced in my car was still probably at around 90% state of health. But the software is not capable of determining the true state of charge and state of health of this battery at all. As we can see, a brand new battery, it does exactly the same pattern. So why would it do this if the battery is new? Okay guys, I leave this with you for a while, but I wanted to um but I want to show you something else on this website which is frightening and which actually supports my theory that this is all software related. If we go all the way to the left of this graph and all the way up, we can see this darker group of dots here, darker green than all the other greens. They are a little bit uh, brighter and these are the darker ones. All this group here is from brand new 2019 models. This is the upgraded version with a higher capacity battery and the 2.4 liter Atkinson cycle engine. And as you can see from here the battery should have I think 44 ampere hours when new. And some of these cars have that. For example, this one here has 38 kilometers on the odometer, 38 kilometers driven, and is on 44.1 ampere hour. This is the 100% state of health of a brand new 2019 model. We don't know which dots belong to which cars, but look at the decline of all these dots in there. These are brand new cars. And we all hoped they will fix this whole software problem with the new cars. But from what I can see here on this screen, it doesn't look like to me they have fixed anything. And we can also see one of these darker green dots down here already. And have a look at this. 3920 kilometers and 38 ampere hours already down. 6 ampere hours down after less than 4000 kilometers. And nobody can tell me that this is the battery. This is hardware related. 4000 kilometers is pretty much nothing. You cannot abuse the battery in any form in this short amount of time to reduce the, the true state of charge of the hardware, of the battery, to 38 ampere hours. That is just physically not possible. Even if you, if you would run the battery from real 0% to real 100% and would overcharge it and would cook it in 50 degrees hot weather, you would not have this degradation in this battery after this short amount of driving. So I think all these green darker dots in this area here, they support my theory that this is not hardware related. We are not talking about the state of health, state of charge of the battery. We are talking about a big software issue these cars have. But as you know, this is just my 
my opinion this is just what I observe on the website what I observe with my car and what I observe on other cars what data people are publishing on the internet and if you read through all these comments and and statements and experiences in forums I think it's the software never in in any other car not in a Leaf, not in an e-Golf, not in a Tesla, anyway not. You've got such a, a strong, such a deep decline of state of health over such a short period of time. This is less than 20,000 kilometers and the battery went down from 100, or the software showed us, from 100 down to 70. That's 30% loss. This should happen after 100 and 80,000 kilometers, but not within 19,000 kilometers. This is just not possible. I think this is wrong, and I think it's software related. This is the whole situation we are facing right now, and I'm I'm not sure how to how to approach. I've I've sent all this information to Mitsubishi um, last weekend already. And they have confirmed, they got all the information and said, thank you very much for all your time and effort. To We have to look into this, we have to analyze. And I've, I've sent them screenshots of this graph here and said, look, this was happening with the old battery. This is happening with the new battery. This is happening with other cars. They're all following the same thing. They all have different hardware, different, different, um, different batteries in there. But they're all following the same pattern of declining state of health what the dog shows us okay guys i leave this information with you you can go to the phevwatchdog.net website and log in as yourself if you have donated or if you use the show me um, demo user you can still access all this information on there so if you would like to have access to all this data Please donate at least five euros to Daniel. Just give him more, it's worth it. And you've got access to your own data on the website and can compare it with all the other dots there and see what's going on. Okay guys, so far this evening um, it is late enough. The video is longer than expected again. But this is just what I wanted to show you. So as always guys, pick up the camera looks looks better looks cooler so okay guys as always thanks for watching thanks for your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us soon in the next video okay thank you very much and see you soon bye it's back here and well, i'll just pretend to leave the garage and turn the lights off there yeah so it looks like I'm actually leaving. There you go. Now, now everyone is. Everyone thought I'm leaving actually now, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm still here, of course. This, this is just for the extra.